The Leafs announced their prospect tournament roster in Traverse City. Gets underway September 14th. They're playing Columbus, Dallas, and Detroit, the 14th, the 15th, the 17th. So at the very least, I know these are prospects. We're going to see some Maple Leafs prospects in action. Some of the names out there, Matthew Nyes, Ronnie Hervinen, Toppy Niemela, Fraser Minton, Easton Cowan, the first round pick from this past season. But the name that really stuck out for me, Rosie, was Matthew Nyes. It's just bizarre to me. Like, he played three regular season games last year. He plays in the Stanley Cup playoffs. He ends on a concussion. And now what do we see in development camp like a couple months ago was guys taking liberties, guys going for it. My concern is that Matthew Nyes goes to this and people headhunt him because he's Matthew Nyes and he's one of the better players in this tournament. How do you view it? Should they have sent him? I think they do. I think it's a no brainer. I mean, this kid's this kid's a young kid. What, What message does it send if you say, oh, you don't have to go. You're a young guy. You don't have a whole lot of games under your belt. Oh, you're special. Uh, you're you're the best. You don't have to go and do this type of thing. I've been to Traverse City tournament before. It's a good tournament. I went there with Tampa. There's usually four teams there. You play each other. Yeah, guys are trying to, you know, make teams and make noise and whatnot, but this isn't the NBA. You don't you don't rest your guys, you don't load manage your guys. He's a young guy. Think about him going there. He's going to be probably the best player in the tournament. Think about the leadership position he's going to be in. He's going to get to work on that. He's going to get to see, you know, what it's like in that pro setting, being a leader, being in that environment. And think about all the other prospects. They get to play alongside Matthew Nyes and say, wow, this guy's already got games under his belt. He steps right from college to the NHL. What does he do differently? What does he do that, that's special? How does he prepare for a game? And Matthew Nyes now gets to go from summer hockey to prospects camp, to training camp, to exhibition, to the regular season. It's just a beautiful stepping stone right into the NHL. And I think it's a no-brainer to put him there. I mean, don't work out in the summer because you could get hurt. You know, don't do sprints. You could pull your hamstring. Like, you could do that all day long. And where's the line? And obviously with the Leafs, the line is, you know, get him in camp, get him playing and put him in that position. It's it's a positive thing for everybody. And of course, if he gets hurt or gets crushed or something like that, it, it's not a good look. But you just can't you can't go about your business um, worrying about getting hurt all the time. I guess my reservation is the fact that he's coming off a of conky right in the Stanley Cup playoffs and was playing some it. excellent hockey. And it just hurts even thinking about that as maybe how different that series could have gone if Matthew Nyes didn't get hurt. But I think that's my wonder is like he's already going to be in training camp. You're just putting him in a scenario where he's playing some extra hockey and the ability, the opportunity is there for something to happen. Having said that, I I fully understand your point. I just wonder if Matthew Nyes is at a point where he's pretty much essentially barring something crazy, a shoe in for the opening night roster. There is no need to put him out there against other prospects because he's above and beyond that. But I understand where you're coming from. I just feel a bit differently about it. And I maybe. I'm the type of person who wants to shelter this type of prospect, more so considering what he's come off uh, last season. But again, it always helps when you train with Austin Matthews all summer, right? Yeah, you bet. And I mean, if he gets destroyed cutting through the middle and he's a donkey and can't play, then I'm going to change my tune for sure. But (laughs) at the end of the day, he is a prospect. He's a young kid. And I think it's beneficial for everyone for him to get out there. He's coming from a college program. Where these guys, with their limited schedule, they work their bags off. They have 6 a.m. workouts. They have two-a-days. They're used to doing this thing. It's it's not a big deal for him to go down there and play a handful of games at this Traverse City thing, get some game speed going, be in a leadership position, get his Jets going a little bit in, in a more competitive environment, and then step into camp. It doesn't bother me at all. He's still a young kid, fresh out of college. Um, I don't mind it, barring any crazy injury that he gets during this. But there's no reason to think that he will get that injured in this thing any more than he would doing something else.